first thing is first, connect to Wi-Fi. Good morning and happy Sunday actually. I'm starting the weekly vlog on a Sunday, but it's because we're in a new hotel room. Please excuse the pajamas. Should we fill you in on where we're up to in life? I ended the weekly vlog, I think it was on Friday, which I actually do need to edit today. Today is Sunday and Singapore is four hours ahead of Dubai which is oh surprise i'm in singapore we'll get to that uh but yeah i do need to edit the weekly vlog and i need that to go up today but i also need to sleep because i'm exhausted and it's not a normal vlog unless i'm tired okay so we're straight into it i'm still on reserve i think this is my second week now on reserve maybe let me just double check that that could be a big lie uh, yeah so this is going into my second week and most of my week is took up by this trip. So let's explain where we are, what we're doing, how it's gonna work, okay? So I'm starting the weekly vlog off today. Technically my flight did start on Saturday, but I've landed in Singapore and it's Sunday. So we're starting today, okay? The trip goes Dubai to Singapore. We stay in Singapore for 24 hours. And then we fly from Singapore to Melbourne and we stay there for 30 hours. And then we fly back to Singapore for 24 hours and then we go back to Dubai. So I've left Dubai on Saturday the 17th and I'll get back on Thursday the 22nd. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Six days. Yeah. It's a long week. And if you've ever watched any of my multi-sector videos, you know by the end of the week, I'm just like tapping out. I'm done. I don't want anything to do with people. <laughs> but we've not done one in a while. And I avoid multi-sectors like the plague because I know how hard they can be, how challenging they are. And you know what, right? The only downside about this one is going to Australia. Don't get me wrong. I love Australia. I love you people. I wish I could move there, but it's a little bit too far. However, jet lag hits different. I don't think people understand. Going to the US, like what, north, east, south, going west, I can deal with life. We'll, we'll get over it, we build a bridge, we're all right. North, east, going east, that's like, asking for trouble so hopefully we won't be too bad this trip but yeah it is currently 10 34 a.m here i'm gonna have a little sleep because i woke up yesterday at half eight in the morning on saturday and it's now 6 35 a.m sunday morning in dubai that's a nearly a whole what 24 hour what is that eight like 20 hours away, 22 hours awake. So I want a bit of sleep. Please and thank you. But the flight was fine. The flight was only seven hours and eight minutes long. It was actually quite short and it was full. Passengers were lovely. Crew were nice, which is good because I want to spend a week with them. I thought I'd just start the weekly vlog, say hi, how y'all doing? It's been a while since I said that. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to show you outside before I go just to justify what I'm gonna do today because it's not nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I didn't realize I was here recently. And it was only when I got here I realized I was here recently. Um, are you ready to see Singapore? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna show you. I wanna turn that light off, how do I turn that light off? Bay window, there we go. Yeah, it's uh, it's raining outside, there's gale force winds, it's just not a nice day at all. So, this kind of makes me feel okay about doing absolutely nothing. No, I've got work to do today, so we're going to do that. And the best part is, I'm going to be back here in like two days, three days. 
What day is it? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I think Wednesday I get back here. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just playing this week by year. But yes, this is where Reserve has brought me to. Up to now, I've only had the airport standby, the Munich flight, and this one. So, it's a pretty calm reserve, actually. I'm very happy with it. I'm waiting for them now. They've got, like, another two weeks. And then it's over. I am also waiting for my roster. Yes. Hopefully we get that while we're on the trip. We'll have to wait and see. I was supposed to get it two days ago. But it's the weekend, so we're still waiting. Anyway, I'm going to go have a sleep for a couple of hours. And... Just relax because I'm tired and then I'm going to crack on with the weekly vlog, edit that, get that up for you today. I want you to appreciate it when you're watching it. If you watched it. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Love you long time. <laughs> right. I've gone on for far too long. I'll catch you in a bit. Goodbye. I honestly have the worst luck when I'm in Singapore because wasn't it thunderstorm and last time I was here as well? The heavens have just opened up. Look. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty heavy rain outside. And it's just starting to thunder. Woo! Guess who's not going to be able to sleep now? Me. Do you know what? There's nothing better, actually. I think this is just, like, a thing from living in the UK. Maybe other people have this as well. But that's very wonky. Straight Sophie. I love falling asleep listening to the rain. So, to me, this is like heaven. I'm gonna get into bed, listen to the rain, and fall asleep. Good night for the second time. Well, hello, how are we all doing? I am in a lot better mood right now. I've edited the vlog, it's exported now. I did have to be downstairs two minutes ago, but it's only on 7%. I really hope she understands. <laughs> she knows I'm doing some work, so it should be okay. And we're going out. Me and one of the girls have decided to go out. And I'll tell you where we're going because I can't remember. Um, Garden by the Bay. There's a light show. So I think we're going to go there. We are going to head out for some food first, I think. I wasn't going to go because I do need to go to the gym. But I think this is okay. I'm going to get my steps in anyway. And I'll just do it tomorrow. No, I can't do it. Can I do it tomorrow? I'll have to work it out. Either way, I've got to do a workout. Not today. But I have put my hair up. Oh, God, just going to drop my phone. I've put my hair up because it's so humid here. I don't know if you're aware of Singapore's weather. This is probably not the best outfit, but I don't really have much else to wear because this weather is just so unpredictable. So, we're going with this. It is a little two-piece matching coward set I've got black t-shirt I've got me vans on I was gonna wear sandals but I put vans on just in case it does start raining again at least I'll have some stability uh, I've got a black bag and I'm gonna take you with me I'm a little bit scared to take you with me though hopefully she doesn't judge me too hard but do you know what people that judge you are just interested in you that's my new saying the weather's changed so much you know look how much the weather's changed isn't that a beautiful day now? Compared to like this morning when it was just gale force winds, thunderstorms and all that fun stuff. Not fun. I want this video to just export, please, like now. It's on 30%. I just need to export it. I've already made the thumbnail. I just need to export it and start uploading it and then I can leave, hopefully. Let's get going. Let's do this. Let's go out. I've never actually been out in Singapore. This is my first time going out in Singapore. Very excited.
places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive, get down and dirty. Like, like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. Me losing sleep. Yeah. I've been hopeful, baby. I was hoping maybe that you cross my path. Mm -hmm. I've been sinking lately, and it's hard to move. Think I'm stuck on you. Oh, in transit, going off to different places, different planets. Watch your own. Good morning and happy Monday. It's officially Monday today. So it is currently like, well, what is this lighting? Why am I like white as Casper the Friendly Ghost? It is nearly 8 a.m. in Singapore, which is 4 a.m. in Dubai, and that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 p.m. in Melbourne. And the reason I tell you about Melbourne it's because that's where I'm going. I'm not going back to Dubai. I'm going to Melbourne now. It is a multi-sector. I don't want to turn away from the light, but I'm going to have to because I still need to pack my bag. Sorry, guys. So, <laughs> we are going to Melbourne now. Uh, the flight is seven hours, give or take. We're going to deal with the lighting. I'm sorry. Just going to have to deal with it. I've got nowhere to balance yet because I forgot to put your tripod. Oh, there you go. You're on the kettle. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. So we're going to Melbourne. The flight is so quiet. Like it's empty. It's so nice. It makes such a nice change. We are going there. I managed to sleep pretty well. I am so tired though. But that is also kind of my fault because I didn't go to sleep early. <laughs> I was wide awake. To be fair, when I was trying to go to sleep, it was like 8 p.m. in Dubai, and that didn't really work out to plan. Anyway, today in Singapore is actually such a nice day compared to yesterday. You can actually see the buildings, look. Like, hello? Why would you not like this yesterday when I landed? But we had a good time, didn't we? Anyway, we are going to Melbourne now and I will catch you lot when we get there. Let's go to Australia. I'm so tired. I'm seriously contemplating life right now. It is 10 p.m. in Melbourne. Half. I'm in Melbourne. Uh, we landed about two hours ago, maybe. Been here for half an hour. So I've not been on here. Contemplating life. What? You've only got to hold yourself accountable. So, let's go. So close. Ten minutes left on the treadmill. And I've got I don't know. A thousand more steps to do for the day. It is currently time slot. Five to eleven at night. Still going strong. Sorry for the noise of the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I'm so proud of myself though for coming. I was so close to not coming, but the reason I came today is because, I'll probably explain this, but do you know what? Let me explain it now. Excuse the art of reference, but it's going to make time go faster for me. So the reason I've come now, or before now, so the reason I've come now is because tomorrow I have then like 90% of the day to just do what I want because it'll be like a day off or a cardio day, which to me is walking. So as long as I do my walking, which means I can go to the shops, and I can do my walking around the shops, and I get my 10,000 steps in, that's classed as a workout for me. So, that's why I came today. Because if I get it done now, I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Let's see if I actually wake up enough. Wake up enough? Wake up in time tomorrow to go to the shops. We'll see. I'm not forcing myself. But yeah, either way, there's a treadmill that I can come and use. Oh my god, right. 
so close. I'll catch you back upstairs. Good morning. It is, what day is it today? It's Tuesday. We're in Melbourne. I officially am starting the, the Melbourne section now. I did start it yesterday in the gym, but I don't know how good that quality was. So we're gonna say hi and good morning. Welcome to Melbourne today. Um, it is currently 3.20. Hell yes. I woke up at two o'clock. Yeah. Slack for 12 hours. 12 hours, 25 minutes, if you wanna be precise, thanks to the Apple Watch. That's a lot of sleep, if you ask me. And do you know what? I could still sleep again, which is good because I need to sleep later on. Yeah. Anyway, I've just filmed my roster reveal. So if you haven't watched that, I'll leave it up here for you. Go check it out or it'll be linked below. Watch it at the end of this video, okay? Watch the rest of this. See what happens in Sydney. In I'm not going to Sydney. I'm going to Singapore. Find out what happens in Singapore because... I want to know too. Hopefully we go get some nice food. I'm dreaming of that restaurant I went to the other day. It was so nice. So I said to the girl that I went with, I was like, can we please go back? I just want that pork and egg rice again. And that bun thing. Ooh, I, I want more than one this time. Can you tell I'm hungry? I've not ate yet. I'm on like energy from I don't know where. I need to order some food and I need to order a lot of food because I need to order food for today. And I want to order food for the flight because the flight is going to be a night flight tonight, obviously. And I want to make sure, why am I so blown out? Thank you. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm eating what I'm supposed to be eating. Why am I so pale now? Can you like, thank you. Um, I want to make sure I'm eating what I'm supposed to be eating instead of snacking on snacks. Also, what are we filling you in on? This is the middle of the trip, by the way. So Melbourne layover is the middle. So I've got one more flight to Singapore tonight. And then we have one more flight from Singapore to Dubai. And that is the flight done. And the best part is I've already been given two days off after this flight. So I'm very happy about that. Because um, that means I can get back to Dubai, get my life in order. Because I feel like when I'm away for this long, my life just falls apart. That's a bit exaggerated to be fair. It doesn't really fall apart at all. I just obviously can't do my washing and stuff and keep the apartment clean. But if this is the content you sign up for, hi, love you long time. <laughs> the reality of being crew, yeah. I uh, slept for 12 hours last night, it's 3.20 right now and I've still not eaten anything for the day and I probably should have had three meals by now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I was gonna go out, but the weather outside is icy cold. Do you know what it reminds me of? Because it looks beautiful outside, I'll show you in a sec. It's like when I'm in the UK in the winter or like whenever it's 90% of the time when it's cold and you look out and it's like a lovely blue sky it looks so peaceful the trees aren't moving looks like it could be a really nice day and then you go outside and it's icy cold that's what it's like today like it's deceiving it's so deceiving don't let the weather fool you oh there's a train downstairs right I'm gonna go figure out some food I need to edit a vlog get that sorted and then I also need to do my steps for the day because I ain't gonna do that today so we'll do that in a little bit but yeah I'm gonna order some food first so let's go figure out food situation food is acquired it is grilled chicken some sort of rice and some vegetable coleslaw broccoli thing it looks good smells delicious so I'm gonna sit here I've got a dressing gown on because I'm ice cold I went outside to pick up the food. Yeah, it's too cold out there. <laughs> I was writing what I was saying before. Looks beautiful, too cold. But I'm going to sit here, watch a bit of YouTube. I'm about a quarter of the way through editing my vlog that I need to edit and get up today. And it is... What time is it? It's nearly 5pm. So, I'm going to eat this. Possibly go and do some steps in the gym. And then hopefully that'll tire me out enough to sleep for at least three hours before the flight. Don't think that's going to be possible though. Which is going to be a hard night flight for me to deal with. But that's Sophie's problem later on. We'll deal with that later. I'm going to eat my food for now.
We are not judging the blusher. It will blend in. It always does. I don't know, actually. This is quite a lot of blusher and it's drying pretty fast. Anyway, I'm getting ready for work. It is currently 11 p.m. I did actually manage to sleep probably like another hour, maybe. Why is this cheek so like bright red and like round? <laughs> Let me go blend this in a bit. Uh, yeah, I did manage to sleep a little bit, which was good. And I kind of feel rejuvenated. I've slept so much, it was beautiful. I don't know why you're so close to my face. That's not the right brush. There we go. That looks a little bit more alive, natural. Whatever word you want to use. Nope, not that brush. See if the answer this time. Hello? Tap. Wake up call. I still need to pack my bag, but I've got an hour. Well, I've got like 50 minutes now from wake up call to get ready. And I'm basically done. I just need to do, oop, trying to balance it down. I'm trying to do eyeshadow. Go straight, there we go. I just need to do some eyeshadow set my face and we're basically there. I am currently drinking this to keep me energised. Yeah, because I slept so much, I haven't really ate that much today, but I feel fine. <laughs> and, I've ordered, I've, uh, and I've got some food that I also ordered from the shop to take with me because it's going to be a night flight. And the main service is towards the end of the flight. So I like to make sure I have some food with me on these flights. I can see myself on FaceTime down here. Hold on. Let me close that off. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to pack my bag. And we are going to head back to Singapore. I've got to Singapore for another 24 hours. And then it's finally home time. And I say finally in the nicest way possible because I'm over this trip. <laughs> it's so long and it's just a tiring task on your body. Like, don't come at me in the comments, okay? But it is. And as much as you say it's not, it is. Until you do it, don't try me. Also, my hair is very straight. We ain't going to talk about it. I'm hopefully going to wash it in Singapore. Hopefully being a big word, because if the crew want to go out, I want to go out too. <laughs> like, it honestly feels like so long ago when we went to the garden on the bay, and it was like two days ago. That's how, that's how long this week feels to me. Right, I'm going to get ready, I'm going to get dressed, I'm going to pack my bag, and I'm going to go to Singapore. So, I'll see you in Singapore. Well, hello, my beautiful people. I'm back in Singapore, and I've been here for a very long time. I'm not going to lie. So we did land, I think it was like 8 a.m. Possibly around that time. Hold on, sorry, just getting comfortable. <laughs> and then we got to the hotel, I passed out for a bit, and I've just been in the gym, which is why I'm very red. Excuse it. I did also wash my hair. This is like, don't ask me why. I washed my hair when I got to the hotel this morning and then decided to go do the gym. Why didn't I do the gym and then wash my hair? Common sense, Sophie, not common. Anyway. I'm back in the room. Um, what time is it actually? It is 5.30 p.m. I'm gonna message one of the girls and see if she wants to go get some food because I'm starving. I am very hungry right now and I could do with some pork fried rice. Not gonna lie. The one I had the other day was beautiful. I don't know if I showed you. I hope I did. But that restaurant, beautiful. Would highly, highly recommend. So yeah. I'll uh, keep you posted in whatever we get up to. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I do feel good that I went to the gym. I did it. I was so tempted just not to do it, but I did it. I pushed myself. It was actually a really good gym, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm so peachy right now. <laughs> oh, God. Post-workout glow. Woo. Did I just leave the hotel room with no camera? I did. So we're on my phone. 
I also haven't took my hair out from the gym, so we're just gonna deal with it. It is humid AF outside, so it's okay. Please excuse the crazy lighting, crazy hair, craziness that is going on in this video. I'm, I've lost it, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to put my lights on, but it makes me look like cast with a friendly ghost, so we're not doing that. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I got back from the mall. The, the restaurant I went to was in the mall, and I can't go to a mall without buying stuff, so. Whole time. Yeah. But this is like full of everything else that I bought. So I did buy some water for now and I bought a smoothie for in the morning. I've not had this smoothie since I was last at home. I don't think it was then, it was like the time before because it's not an M&S near me and I love it. So I seen it, I was like, yes, I need you in my life. Thank you. I then picked up some more wipes and you know, I don't like using makeup wipes, but when I'm on my travels, it's less weight. So we use makeup wipes. I then also picked up some razors. I then picked up some electrolytes hydro hydrogen. <laughs> it's hydrate oxygen boost ones. I've never tried them before. It was just in a pharmacy that I passed and I got told to pick some up, so I did. Then I stopped off in, is it like Sun Sand or something or other? Whatever. Boring gym chat again. Weightlifting gloves, yeah. I want to keep my hands as soft as possible, so they will be getting used. And then, I think that's everything. Apart from, we went into Uniqlo. And you know I love a bit of Uniqlo. So, what did we pick up? We picked up a black, very lightweight hoodie. Uh, like, it's literally just a black hoodie. And it's got the little thumb holes. I don't know how to explain those to you, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I thought this was kind of cool because all my hoodies are quite big and this is like so tiny, it takes up no space at all. So I picked that up, I got that in a medium. I then got three shirts, well, three oversized t-shirts that I wear when I want to cover up myself. And I got them in a white, a black and a grey. You've probably seen these so many times before. It's these ones. What's it called? Boat neck long t-shirt seamless. So it like scoops at the bottom a little bit. And it's like, I got the large so it was oversized because I prefer it oversized. So I got it in the gray, the white and the black. And that is everything I picked up. I also had the nicest food. And do you know what, right? Let's have a chat. I feel so proud of myself right now because I have like the worst fear of going anywhere on my own and that sounds so stupid but like I mean as in like a restaurant or going to a mall or going out of a hotel where I don't know where I'm going it terrifies me like to another level and the fact I've just done that I went out I went to a mall I went and sat in the middle 
of Singapore in a restaurant and ate with chopsticks. Bearing in mind, like, I would never use chopsticks in my life, but I was like, when in Asia? <laughs> so basically the reason I'm telling you is just do it. The only person stopping you is you. And I've stopped myself for so long doing stuff that I want to do. Like I wanted to go out and I never because I was too scared. And today I was like, what's stopping me? Like what is actually stopping me? Me, I'm stopping myself. So don't let yourself stop you. Basically it's moral of the story. Don't do it. And take yourself on a self date. I was literally sat in that restaurant in the middle of the restaurant as well, by the way. Not even like at a booth on the side or anything. Literally middle table in the middle of the restaurant. It's quite scary on my own. I had my headphones in, I set my phone up so I could like watch some YouTube in my own world, enjoying my food. So do it. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy going out with yourself. Enjoy your alone time. It's worth it. It's like a little recharge. So sorry about the little tangent. It is now 9 10 pm and I need to set an alarm for tomorrow actually because we leave tomorrow. And it's finally time to go back to Dubai, which is very exciting. So what time do I need to set an alarm for? Let me find out. Okay, wake up call is at 6.40. So 6.25 will do. Yeah, we'll do 6.25. Cause all I have to do when I want to lay over is wake up, put make one and leave because I'll get all my bag packed now so that's done I'll iron my shit and everything but yeah that's it for today my little Singapore Melbourne trip is nearly over one more sector to go and it is full it was full today actually I didn't tell you about the flight today did I? the flight was full today but we left Melbourne at 2.40am because there was a little delay so soon as we took off everyone was to be fair everyone was past asleep before we even took off so it was a very quiet flight which was nice it was hard though it was a long night flight seven and a half hours but tomorrow should possibly be the same there's a lot of winds that's slowing us down and do you know what i think this is one thing that crew will understand so this is for like my crew people no one's called sick no one's got sick and no one's had a fight yet if you know, you know. Multi-sectors are so hard because, and this is for like, like, just in general, because with the airline I work for, you normally do your flight and then that's it. You never see these people again. So if you don't get on or your personalities clash, then you just deal with it for like 14 hours, like there and back or whatever, however long the flight is, like five hours. You just deal with it and then you leave. You don't have to see these people again, it's okay. But on a multi-sector, if you don't get on on that first flight, or there's like conflict, it just gets worse and worse and worse as the trip goes on. So I'm very pleased to say there has been no drama on the flight, passengers or crew. And hopefully that lasts for tomorrow because the last sector is when the truth comes out. <laughs> but no, all the crew are so nice. So I'm very glad I was pulled out for this trip. It was definitely one of the better trips I could have been pulled out for. Anyway, I am going to love yous and leave yous. And I will possibly see yous in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Happy Thursday. The trip is nearly over. However, the drama does not stop there. Got a piece of paper. And if you crew... You know, a piece of paper means a delay. It's a four hour delay. So it's currently nearly 6 a.m. I don't know if you can see that. And the new pick up time, no, the new wake up time is at 9.20. So that is in three hours, 20 minutes. Yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna sleep for the next three hours. I definitely could, I'm still tired, but I'm not, I'm not sleepy tired, I'm just tired. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. That's where we're up to right now. I'm going to sit here and reply to comments because my roster video went up yesterday. I'll leave it here, uh, if I remember to. 
I'm really bad at doing that. I always say I will and then I never do. It'll be linked in the description box anyway. So yeah, I'm going to reply to my comments and just have a nice lazy morning. I do want to try and get some breakfast at some point because I am a little bit hungry. Mm, I know. I do also have my smoothie actually. I might have that now. And then that's it. Basically, that's where I'm up to in life. I've already like 90% packed my bag. I have also changed my alarm so that it goes off at the right time now instead of like 6, 10 or whatever time it was set for. It's now set for 9 a.m. Yeah. It is annoying though because we were supposed to land at 1 p.m. in Dubai and now it's like half three. I think it says three, four, five. So I'm gonna get home at like five o'clock. And then I'm going to have to try and find some food. And that was supposed to be like my lazy day. But you know what, actually, now I'm thinking about it, this could be a blessing in disguise. Because if we get home at five o'clock, six, seven, I could potentially go to sleep at like nine. Get myself sort of for two days off so I don't ruin it with jet lag. That's how my brain's working right now. Anyway, I thought I'd just say good morning. Like, you know, the... the, 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 the there is a delay. I always struggle to say that. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Hello. I keep saying hello like it's like the start of a new video every time I speak to a camera. It's not Sophie, it's the same video. So, as you can tell, I'm ready to go back to Dubai. It is finally time to leave. It's 9.50 or 9.45. Soon as it goes past like five, I say 50. Or like, do you, do you get what I mean? I always round it up. Anyway, I'm gonna give this lipstick another try. This time I've put lip liner on though. I've put the Kiko 703 on with it. This one, I don't know if it's gonna focus. And then I put this on, so. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully not too bad. Last time I wore it, I didn't wear lip liner and oh my God, I looked like a clown. No. It came straight off. I'm all packed up. My bag's ready to go. I've got my cabin bag sorted. Just need to put my laptop away. I've got my smoothie for the bus ride. I know this is a weekly vlog. I'm aware. And the week doesn't end on a Thursday. But I think I'm going to end the video. Because I feel like this video might be a little bit long. But we all love a long video these days, don't we? Do we? Yeah, we do. It's okay. Anyway, I am going to end the video here. We are leaving it in Singapore. I'm heading back to Dubai and I have two days off. So I'm going to enjoy my two days off. Don't know what I'm going to get up to, but I'm going to hopefully get my life back on track after being away for so long. Get all my washing done. Be a little housewife for the day. And then enjoy myself. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed Singapore and whatever you did see of Melbourne. And like the video, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.